hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m times of m minus 2 is equals to 4 m and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, also uh, we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in first method uh, we move here this 4m into the left hand side this is positive 4m when we move in the left hand side it will becomes negative and we get m times of m minus 2 and minus 4m is equals to 0 and further uh, in the next step you see here both of these terms involve m so this means that m is a common term uh, so uh, when you will take common m we get the remaining values are from here we get m minus 2 and from here when you take common this m we get minus 4 and this is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms we have this is m times of m minus uh, minus 2 minus 4 becomes minus 6 and this is equals to 0. So here in the next step we divide this uh, equation into the two cases the first case is we write m is equals to 0 and the second case is we write m minus 6 is equals to 0. So this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we need to move this minus 6 to the right hand side and we get the value of m is equal to plus 6. So this is the our second root of the given equation. So if uh, your question is that to find all the roots of the given equation then you can just opt, opt the first method. Uh, so in first method we can find all the uh, roots but in the second method I, can, I hope so we like uh, we just find the trivial or not trivial roots of the given equation so now here we have uh, these are the two roots of the given equation in the next steps we need to verify that uh, which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous roots so verification of this we need to copy down given question statement here it is m times of m minus 2 is equals to 4 times of m and here in this side we verify m is equals to 0 and in this side we verify m is equals to 6. So uh, here uh, when we substitute m is equals to 0 into the given question statement it will be written as uh, when you put on both of the sides it will become 0 times of 0 minus 2 is equals to 4 times of 0 and you see here when you multiply 0 with any number you get here 0 so 0 times of this value becomes 0 and 4 times of 0 is also equals to 0 so this means that 0 is equals to 0 left hand side equals to right hand side so here our can, final conclusion is that the value of m is equal to 0 is satisfied our given question statement so m is equals to 0 be the solution of the given equation okay and this is the one solution of the given equation and now here we need to verify the second root and we check its behavior so when you put m is equal to 6 into the given question statement it will be written as 6 times of 6 minus 2 is equals to 4 times of 6 uh, and here we get 6 times of 6 minus 2 becomes 4 is equals to this is 4 times of 6 equals to 24 and again 4 times of uh, 4 times of 6 is equals to 24 equals 24 this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side this means that the second value of m is also satisfied our given question statement uh, so m is equals to 6 also be the solution of the given equation so in the first method we get here uh, the two solutions of the given equation you can see here into the screen uh, and now in the next step uh, we again solve this problem for a second method uh, and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is 
m times of m minus 2 is equals to 4m and now in the second method we get uh, the roots of this equation in a very uh, smart or quick method so in this method uh, we first just divide uh, both of the sides by m uh, so in this case our m is not equals to zero okay because we cannot uh, divide the zero values on both of the side because it will becomes here undefined or infinity that's why uh, in second method we just take the condition that is m is not equals to zero because we divide both of the sides by m so uh, when you divide by m it will be written as uh, m times of m minus 2 divided by m is equals to 4m divided by m this m is cancelled out by this m and we get here this is m minus 2 is equals to this m is cancelled out by this m and we get here 4 so here we move uh, this minus 2 to the right hand side and it will becomes 4 plus 2 so we have m is equals to 6 so in the second method we just get here only one root of the given equation and that is m is equals to 6 also in the first method we already verified this root and we check that this root is satisfied our given question statement uh, so uh, in second method we have this is m equals to 6 be the only solution and finally we have this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos